we are spending at this time, as we sit here today, a little over a million dollars more per day for this fiscal year than money we have available. And the issue, that's roughly 10 point something million dollars for a pay period, which is 10 days. Uh, and so you can begin to see how enormous the problem is. Uh, just two days ago, we were advised that we're 50 to $70 million short on our projections of revenue for this fiscal year. Uh, and so that just keeps showing you where and why there's going to have to be some severe cuts. And so uh, as we go through the f uh, budget meeting on the 14th and then the council on the 15th, uh, you're going to see a great deal of people expressing concern about whether cutting police is where you want to go, where you want to cut fire, where you're going to cut. But the issue is, uh, uh, I think in, from my perspective anyway, is that I don't think you can call it a city if all you have is a police and fire department. If you cut so severely that you don't have libraries and parks disappear, and and probably the only uh, uh, function in the city that is still going to have funding uh, because of gas tax money is our street uh, repair. Everything else, such as sidewalks, trees, those things will all take a severe hit. And so uh, these are the kinds of things that are going to be the priorities. Uh, but I think that overall what's important is trying to figure out what's the balances, what should be the priorities. And I would hope that as we go through these discussions that we do not have people drawing a line saying, I absolutely won't consider some part of these issues because there's no way you can, in this uh, environment, there's no way you can just take something off the table. Everything has to be evaluated. Everything's got to be twisted and turned because the bottom line is if we go and continue going as we're going today, somewhere around May of next year, which is not that far, the city will run out of money and have no reserve fund. Uh, the city started the year July 1st with about a 200 and $50 million reserve fund. Uh, with that $250 million, about $125 million is put away for exceptional emergencies. So anything over one twenty-five is considered contingency, and those funds are available for us to manage the city during the year. But you always have an emergency of one twenty-five. Uh, also realize the city, July 1st or somewhere in July, uh, created the largest what we call TRAN. Every year we create bonds to sell to have operating capital for the first six months of the year because our revenue doesn't start kicking in until the second and third month of the fiscal year. That's when our capital starts coming in. So in order to allow us to do our work, we generally have a, a bond of somewhere in the neighborhood of five hundred million dollars to get us through the first six months of the year. Because of the economic downturn, this year the city uh, created a bond larger than any time in its history of well over one billion dollars to get us through the first six months of this year. That money has to be paid back during the year of operation. And so therefore, the one billion dollar tran has to be paid before June 30th. If we end June 30th with no reserve fund and the issue of out of cash, then the next thing to look at is come July 1st, there's a, there's a limited likelihood that the city of LA could create a trans to do business after July 1st because as your reserve fund goes down and as you show your inability to pay your bills, your bond fund goes down, your rating goes down. So this is a, all interconnected. 